The well-known war photographer Robert Kappa once said, if your photographs aren't good enough, you are not close enough. This phrase has often been quoted, but it's in macro photography where it's absolutely true. For a war photographer, this principle means a much higher risk, whereas for the macro photographer, it simply means more time and more patience for every single photograph. And that is even more true when I'm out using a heavy and cumbersome medium format camera together with bellows for the macro distance. I then work up to an hour on some subjects. Without a high precision focusing rack and a stable tripod, I'd never get a photograph with this heavy and complicated setup. Every change in the composition requires millimeter exactness. Even with the aperture closed down to f22, the depth of focus is still only a few millimeters. That means extreme concentration to get things very exact. What makes it so wonderful, however, is that I forget everything else around me. Of course, during such long periods the weather and thus the light can sometimes change. And that calls for improvisation. For example, keeping the light away with an umbrella and setting light accents with an LED lamp at the same time. However, it's a classical 35mm full-frame camera that offers most opportunities. In combination with different lenses, various technical accessoires and a modular tripod system, there's just no end to the photographic possibilities. For me, it's especially important to shoot photos down on the ground. People find photos of flowers taken at ground level much more realistic than those taken vertically above. But how near I can get to my subject with the equipment I already have? Photos taken with a standard lens show too much background. By fitting an extension tube between the camera and the lens, I can get much closer to my subject. The flower will be shown bigger. Macrophotography becomes really interesting and abstract when you start using a reverse adapter. Depending on the aperture, I can then shoot photos with a shallow depth of focus of just a few millimeters and the magnification is greater than 1 to 1. Of course, the reverse adapter is not only intended for fixed lenses, but also for use with zoom lenses. There are advantages and disadvantages with both types of lenses. It's easier to use a fixed lens because it's simpler. A zoom lens gives me more options for photo size and handling. However, it's best to use high quality compact zoom lenses that have easy to use adjustment rings for focal length and distance. Personally, I like the combination of a reverse adapter with fixed lenses most. Wide angle lenses in the range of 35mm to 24mm are usually the best for everyday photography.